What star rating should you go for when welling? So this is an Orwellian nightmare of a question. All right, so what are we doing here? So we're dropping items into a well and we get star ratings, right? But what does that translate to and what are good star ratings to go for? So from what I found in my experience, going for a rating of three to four is best. One is generally a waste. So if you just drop in like a single thing, like a Vulnary, this will get you a one rating and you'll get you know a few junk items, maybe an SP book, nothing too crazy. It's not gonna be a huge amount of SP, but it's insanely cheap and very affordable. Uh, getting to rank two isn't that much harder. You know, you can just drop some, you know, items you don't really care about, maybe a Vulnary one and Elixir one, which if you were to sold, sell those, it'd be almost like nothing. So if you wanna just profit, if you wanna just make money and get a little bit of SP, rank two, is for you if you want to get more sp and sometimes profit sometimes lose a little bit rank three is really good and then if you want to lose a little bit of money consistently but get huge sp gains rank four is the way to go rank five costs way too much to hit so i'll demo how difficult it can be to hit rank five by dropping in a bunch of expensive weapons so here's what i have to drop in to hit rank five <laughs> i have to drop in three silvers and a brave in this case. And the rewards for rank five, in terms of SP, you get slightly more SP. Uh, the average SP gained is roughly like a thousand something, whereas for rank four, it's like 700 to 800. But the cost is double. To hit rank five, you have to, you have to dump 20K worth of items. Rank four is only 10K, rank three is only 5K, and then rank two, is 1k so if you want to profit rank two profit with some sp gain rank two if you want to break even or sometimes profit but get more sp rank three and if you want to lose a little bit of money on average but get way more sp definitely rank four i think rank four is the best personally from what i've observed in terms of what you get you just get so much sp and you actually might get too much so rank three might just be the meta so, you know, it's easier to dump in 5k worth of items than it is to dump in 10k. So like a silver sword and let's see what I can patch it up with. Some junk. Yeah, so this this gets your rank three. <laughs> That's not so bad. And you could also do different combinations. Like let's say you want to keep that silver sword. Uh, you could go for staves. So let's say like a heal five, uh, maybe a physic three and a heal nine or maybe even like another elixir one or elixir two. Yeah, so the elixir, if you have elixir ones, those are like, it's, it's all worth the same. So whatever is the lowest you want to use, but you can get rank three with junk, essentially. Rank four, you're going to have to put in some decent items, like maybe one or two decent items that are just like extra items you don't need, like an extra silver sword or whatever. And you can always reinvest the items you get from the well. I prefer rank four. I like the extra SP you get from it. The difference in average SP, uh, average SP for rank three is around like 400. Average SP for rank four is around 800. Uh, there, it's like 450, 7, like 50, roughly speaking, for three and four. Uh, so it's, you know, a difference of like 300, essentially. So you get, and that's the average, right? So you'll get expert books more consistently on rank four. And those expert books give you 1K SP. <laughs> You also have a much higher chance of getting the 500 SP Adept books. Uh, rank four also has some pretty good drops. It has some pretty powerful staves you can get. Uh, so for example, you can get Entrap, Fracture, Rescue, Warp, Recover. And you have a pretty good chance of getting those. And personally, I've seen a lot of those. You also have a 10% chance at Master Seals and a 5% at Second Seals. The rank five rewards honestly suck. There should be uniques in there, but there's not. The only unique in rank five rewards is the notice staff. And all it does is it's a single use and you just get all of your engage meters filled, which is good, but it's a 10% drop rate. So you're, you figure you're dumping 20K in at a time to get this ability. You also have 1% chance to get each stat booster and each stat booster has a 1% chance of rolling. So you have a very low chance of getting stat boosters. The weapons you get, like the staves, the staves you get from 
Rank three, you can get Fortify and Notice, which is okay. But rank four is way better for staves, and rank five is not that not that bad as well. Uh, so if I go to the, let me see if I can find it here. I have the little little chart. Someone's got it online. Every, people found this thing out like super early on, which is crazy. Yeah, you can get Physic, Rewarp, Freeze, and Silence from Rank 3. So Rank 3 is good. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, Rank 3 is very good. Physic, Rewarp, Freeze, Silence. These are pretty good staves. Uh, rank 3 and Rank 4 both have the best rewards, in my opinion, in terms of drop rates. So if you want to know the actual drop rates, you do have a 5% chance of a Master Seal in Rank 3, but no chance of a Second Seal. And for the books, you have... Novice book, 100% at rank 3. Adept book, 50% at rank 3. Expert book, 10% at rank 3. And then at rank 4, you have a 70% chance for an adept book and a 30% chance for an expert book, as well as a 100% chance for a novice book and a 25% chance for a bonus novice book. So you're looking at pretty substantial... SP differences, right? Like these adept books are 500 SP. These expert books are 1k SP. You can max out some crazy builds if you consistently get them. And in my experience, you'll get them like, you'll get an expert book, you know, one out of three wells, you know, based on the odds. But the adept book, 70%, that's like almost every, that, that's not guaranteed, but it's almost every time you use the well. So that's pretty substantial. And also silver weapons drop in here, so you can just dump them back into the well. Uh, I personally prefer rank 4 for the SP and the better staves, but rank 3 is totally solid. And rank 2, if you don't really feel like, you know, just dumping junk in there and you just want to profit, you can do that. But the extra SP makes the game so much easier, so it depends on how, how much you want to break the game, essentially. Uh, that's it for this one. I just want to talk about well strats, you know, how to get your well nice and in order nice in order nice and in order <laughs> i don't know what that what that's supposed to be <laughs> but you can you can organize your well so this is an example of like a rank four uh, you can always check to see if you can drop things too so for example i can see that i can drop the elixir let's see if i can drop the heal yeah so if you can drop so like if i can drop like the physic maybe put the elixir back kind of play around with the uh, some of these things so you could do something like that. So if you want to keep that physic. So this is like an example. You can like min-max it. You can test to see where certain breakpoints are met. But yeah, that's it for this one. Definitely like and subscribe if you found this useful. Feel free to drop a comment and I'll see you next one.